Welcome back for Vlogtober day 11. If you listened to the podcast this morning, you will know that I am doing some pumpkin magic today. And this video is in collaboration with the same guest who was on my podcast, Rhiannon Harvest. I'm gonna have everything linked below so you can check out her channel. But she is doing some wonderful work with pumpkin over there. Her ancestor oil is fantastic. So excited for you guys to go watch that because I think that's something that I am going to go and do later this month because I am planning on setting up my ancestor altar. There are just so many great ways to work with pumpkin. So I'm really excited to see, for you to go see Rhiannon's version and then to also come here and check out what I am offering. Pumpkins have a ton of correspondences that work so well for this year. So we talked about on the podcast, they just have such a deep history with so many of our ancestors and their importance in food and abundance and getting through those winter months. And with those themes and in terms of your witchcraft practice, they are great for prosperity, abundance, harvest, growth, fertility, creativity, transformation, death, divination, all things rebirth. So great for prosperity spells, but also ideal for the season in working with the dead and ancestors and spirits. So let's go do pumpkin seeds, a pumpkin dog treat, and just have a little bit of chat about including all of these pumpkins in your spell work this month. First up, let's talk pumpkin seeds. So these are dried pumpkin seeds. I am going to, I think, have another video later in this month about specifically carving the pumpkins and scooping the seeds out and then talking about jack-o'-lantern magic and like history and where that comes from in pagan history. But once you scoop the seeds out and separate them from the flesh, the best thing to do is dry them out. So you want to rinse them off and dry them between two paper towels and allow those to dry for five to 10 minutes. From there, there's a few different ways to dry out your pumpkin seeds. First, if you've got the time, you can definitely do the air dry method. And in that case, you would just put them in a single layer on a pan like this on a baking sheet and put them in a cool, dry place for a month. But you do want to make sure that um, it's an indoor location, that there's not going to be dampness, that it has airflow. You want to check on them daily and then turn them so they dry evenly on both sides but making sure that they are in a single layer is the most important part because otherwise if they clump together, that makes it easy for them to not fully dry out and cause mold. It's definitely a super effective method, but again, taking a month, uh, not everybody has that time. You might not have an ideal location to leave something like this out for a month and let it properly dry. You can use a dehydrator. I don't know too many people who have a dehydrator, so uh, there are instructions for that. So if you want to look that up, if you do have one, um, but I'm gonna skip that here and instead go to drying them by baking them in the oven, which is what I do. So again, putting them on a single layer on a sheet and then I bake them at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. And that takes about three or four hours. I do stir them every 20 or 30 minutes just to make sure that they don't burn anywhere. It's definitely the most risky method in terms of there being like possible damage, but it's great if you're just going to be roasting them to eat anyway, in which case if they get a little scorched or burnt, it doesn't really matter. So that's what I did. I dried these out. If they get a little scorched, that's kind of what it looks like. It's like a little darker than the other ones. And it's like little, it's a tiny bit of a scorch. Otherwise it's fine. Now I saved a section of my dried ones for use in spell work. These are really fun to keep throughout the winter months until you, you know, get to the next pumpkins next season. And I like to use these in spell jars, shaker jars specifically, because when you shake them, these make like a fun noise in there. Like I said, there are so many great ways to use pumpkin seeds. They have so many different correspondences. So I particularly like them in prosperity shaker jars, but I am saving some for my creativity spells as well. And I'm going to use some of them in my spell work that will be coming up in December as I'm like getting ready for January 1st and new goals. This will be great for those like transformation creativity spells that I'm gonna need. But these suckers are going to get roasted. So to roast pumpkin seeds, you just need olive oil, salt, and then the seasonings, spices of your choosing. I like salty, spicy ones. So I use salt 
and I am going to use a little bit of cayenne pepper and I'm going to use smoked paprika. You could do a version with cinnamon, like a cinnamon sugar pumpkin seed. Those are popular as well, cinnamon being great for protection. The cayenne pepper in this is going to be good for protection as well, but the seasonings are really to your taste and what your specific intention is. I am making harvest celebration protection pumpkin seeds. That's my intention going into this. And then I will roast these at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 15 minutes. Just about to put those in. So let's talk dog treats with pumpkin. This is what you need. It is 100% pure pumpkin. This is the pumpkin puree and the only ingredient should be pumpkin. Dogs can't have a lot of the other stuff, the spices that are included in there. And I'm going to give instructions for a normal dog. My dog is not normal. My dog eats um, Taco Bell, Chipotle, Domino's, McDonald's, Dairy Queen. There's really no limit on what my dog will eat and she's 14 years old. So she's just living her best life eating all of the human food. So I don't even know if she's going to like traditional dog treats, but we are gonna give it a try because she does in fact like pumpkin. Most dogs do. This is a go-to for upset stomachs with dogs and most dogs will just eat it. They do enjoy this. If you have plain yogurt, then a nice frozen treat would be to take equal parts of the pumpkin with equal parts yogurt and mix those together and add those into like an ice cube tray or a silicone mold and freeze for 24 hours. And then pop those out and you have a nice frozen treat for your dog. I am going instead with a different frozen option and I am going to do this one can, it's a 15 ounce can, with three cups of rolled oats and a half cup of a nut butter. Again, like traditional peanut butters like Jif or Skippy have additives in there that dogs can't have. So you have to go with a natural butter, like a natural peanut butter or almond butter. And I do have a natural, I have both actually, almond butter and peanut butter. So I am going to pull the natural peanut butter and do half a cup of that. Stir everything together until it is all evenly combined and roll into little tablespoon size balls and freeze until ready. My dog insists that she is much cuter than Levi, so she wanted to be included in the vlog. Right, Hawkeye? Okay? Are you cuter than Levi? What do you think? Yeah. Here is what they end up looking like. As you can see, I just sort of flattened out the top so I could carve little sigils into the top. And I'm going to let these set for a couple of hours and then they should be a little stiffer so I can do more sigil making on top and flip them over to do on the bottom. And again, these are dog trees. They don't have to be perfect. They're very forgiving ingredients but they are then infused with that pumpkin energy, the energy that I put into it for protection, the protection sigils, just sending all of the love to my pup. Last I have my bowl here of my little mini pumpkins. I love all of these, I think they're so cute. And this bowl is just decor on my dining room table. And so since this is kind of center of our house, I can draw sigils on the bottom of these pumpkins for peace, protection, abundance, loving home, any sort of thing that I wish. And these little guys last forever, so they will last well until Thanksgiving. So there is just so much that you can do with pumpkins. So versatile, so many options. And my seeds are all done. That's what they look like. They have been in for 12 minutes and they taste so good because I couldn't resist trying one and burning my mouth and regretting it, but delicious. And here are some of my pumpkin seeds getting ready to be stored to use. And like I said, so much fun in a shaker jar. That's everything for our Vlogtober day 11. Please do let me know in the comments how you are planning on using pumpkin. And don't forget to check out Rhiannon's video for even more options. Do listen to the podcast if you haven't already because there's options in there as well that are even different from what we talked about in these videos because we are just loving all the things pumpkin right now. We have just like we said in the podcast, I've been waiting for this since July for pumpkin season and using them in witchcraft and drying out the pumpkin seeds and such to last us through these winter months and keep including them. But given all of that love, we are still always looking for more ideas. So if you have anything that we didn't mention, please do let me know in the comments. And I will see you tomorrow for Vlogtober day 12.